So today we are having an interview with an amazing person who not only helped me get through the understanding of what to expect when a baby's coming, what my role would be during the labor process, what to do through the, oh my God, what's a baby about? But she was also extremely supportive to the mom who most people think a doula is supposed to work with the mom but also for me and helping me in times of, hey, maybe you should go get some coffee right now or maybe you should go get some lunch right now. Go ahead and take a nap, rest, because the labor process has a lot going on. So today we're going to interview Amy, who's an amazing, incredible doula. And we're gonna to talk to her about what doulas are, what role do they have in the labor birth process, how they interact with the dad, how do they interact with the medical staff? So here we go. Welcome, Amy. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So could you tell us a little about, excuse me, could you tell us a little bit about what a doula actually is and what a doula does? Oh, wow. Okay, well, a doula, um, a Greek word, is a support person um, helping the mom partner um, through labor, childbirth, um, helping her get through that wonderful period of, of laboring. Well, um, so how would, because I know when people talk about natural childbirth, sometimes people talk about doulas, sometimes people talk about midwives, sometimes people talk about um, birthing coaches. How does a doula differ from a midwife? Well, a midwife is a um, person that takes care of the prenatal care for a mom oh. and helps to deliver the baby. A mom might see a midwife versus an OB for their okay. care. Okay. A doula is non-medical support person that stays with mom before, during, and after their birth. Oh wow, okay. So if you have a OBGYN, how would the doula and the OBGYN work together, what type of complementary relationships would they have? Go for births. Well, typically for myself, I normally don't meet the midwife or the OBGYN prior to birth. Okay. Sometimes the mom and the dad want me to meet them and I'll go in and meet them and it makes a nice um, way to be able to distinguish your roles sure. of what um, your role is during the birth. Sure. And that I'm there solely to help mom and dad. Okay. Um, and it makes a nice uh, transition in birth to be able to um, to do that. Yeah. Makes a nice relationship for both of us. Oh, perfect. Um, so how would a doula work with the mom in regards to medication or their role with um, helping in a natural birth situation? Well, let me uh, touch first on the doula's role as far as medications. Um, as I think I said before, we're a non-medicated um, role. Um, there's no um, care as far as checks going on, um, blood pressure, anything like that. It's definitely a non-medical um, role. Okay. So there is, the doula doesn't have that, that role in the mom's care. Um, as far as natural birth, our role is to help get them through that um, that part of labor for their natural birth, whether it's positioning, whether it's um, uh, all sorts of different um, things to help them through a natural birth. Okay. Um, so how would this compare to a birth coach? Okay, well, I think when we talk about a birth coach, we're looking more into a, uh, like a teacher that a Bradley, a hypnobirthing, which oh, is okay. my favorite. Yes. Um, but they, you go through sessions of classes and they help you to prepare for the laboring part of your birth experience. Okay. Um, the doula who is there with you before, during, and after is the person who will help enhance all of that. Oh wow, amazing. Okay. So to become a doula, what type of training or education is typically received? received. 
Well, for your education, there's different organizations that you can be certified with and trained through. Okay. Um, there's DONA, there's ICEA, mm. there's ProDula. There's just a different organizations, and each one has their own education that they um, require. Okay. Um, typically, it's classes that you take a, a weekend or a week of classes to uh, for training. There are extensive books that you have to read. Okay. Then there's evaluations from the doctor, midwife, parents, um, in order to complete your um, training. Okay. Um, there is uh, essays. There's all sorts of things included in this. Reports that you have to take on each birth. Oh wow. Um, so and like I said, every organization is different depending on um, which one you go with. Sure. Okay. So it's not like you can just. Register on the internet and oh, 24 no. hours later become a doula. No, definitely not. There's definitely some education, continuing education that we take to help enhance our work. Oh, that's perfect. So if somebody was looking to hire a doula to help them with their birthing path, their birthing process, what are some of the questions that someone would actually want to ask a doula? Well, you know, you can probably download any questions that you want on the internet, you know, the wonderful, <laughs> wonderful world of Google. But um, I always like to have them feel comfortable with the doula. Get to know who this person is. Okay. Um, you know, there's always the questions of what's your philosophy? Sure. Um, what do you believe? How are you going to help us? Um, and I think that's a good question is what, what are you going to bring to my team, of my support team? Um, and have them explain to you um, their role and what they can offer. Um, but most importantly for me is that you are comfortable with who that person is. Maybe okay. even down to how they talk and how their personality. Because this person is going to be in that intimate part of your life. That's amazing. I think one of the questions that a lot of dads have is how does a doula and a dad have a relationship, what is the the role, I guess, that they play in communicating mm -hmm. with the dad, or what is the role that the dad would play if his wife or partner decides that, hey, they want to have a doula? Well, I think a lot of times when you hear that when you hire a doula that we replace dad, mm. and that is not true. We help enhance dad's role in the birthing experience. You know, we go to the classes, and I've had this happen a lot, where you go to the classes and you take your Bradley or your Lamaze and all the information, and you think, I'm going to remember that. I've actually had people bring a notebook to the birthing experience. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you forget it all because you're so focused on mom. You're so focused on what's happening, sure. the questions being um, given to you at the hospital or birthing center that you forget. Well, you have a doula walk in, and they help dad or they help dad before you get there with positioning, with <laughs> someone's rolling around here. Absolutely. With different things to help mom. Okay. And it's more of an enhancement of dad's role mm. than it is um, a doula taking over. Okay. Okay. Would doulas assist with a home birth? Absolutely. They play the same role they would in a hospital, oh, okay. um, in the support, showing up at the home, walking mom and dad through, you know, making sure mom and dad are eating in the comfort of their own home, you know, being comfortable in their place, in their space. Wow. So could you give us an example of if someone said that, hey, I want to work with a doula, what would happen maybe before the birth, during the birthing process, and after the birth? Sure. Typically before, depending on when you're... Um, hired. Um, sometimes it's months before, sometimes mm -hmm. it's weeks before. Mm, okay. So it all really depends on um, the time that you have. Typically, if you are hired with enough time, you have a few prenatal appointments. Okay. Usually they are to um, help the parents um, write a birth preference list, okay. your desires of birth, the things that you would like to possibly happen in birth, and ways that we can help you achieve that. Okay. Um, another one can be, and I like to do a second one, to play role play. Scenarios of what can happen. If this doesn't happen, this is our goal. The next one would be, you know, this. If we go down this road. Sure. You know, um, 
So usually there's a few prenatal appointments. Okay. Then you have an um, uninterrupted presence oh, wow. at your birth um, and labor. Okay. And then postpartum, there's usually one or two postpartum visits to make sure everything's good, help with breastfeeding, and sure. then any referrals that need to be done. Well, that's amazing. I know in our birthing process, one of the things that was amusing is that if you check the internet, if you check YouTube videos, you'll find a lot of people talk about their birth plan. And this is how they want things to go. Well, the reality of it, and this is an amazing thing that you communicated to us, is that it's not a birth plan, it's a birth preference. Yes. You can title it what you want to, but it's really a preference. Absolutely. And the most important thing about this plan, this glorious plan that includes unicorns and four-piece trumpeted bands, is the safety and the health of the mom and the baby. And so sometimes you want a particular thing that doesn't turn out exactly the way that you put on paper, but everything should be done in the safety of the parent. Babies. So it's great. Able to, when I said, you know, looking for different avenues or when the doula comes is kind of role playing. Well, this is absolutely what we want, but we may not get it. So what happens if this happens? Yes. You know, so that day when we walk in and things don't happen the way we want, it's not a big surprise or we had already talked about it. So there's some comfort level in there already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So we're not, you know, that it doesn't hit us. Very nice. So could you give us an example of if someone did decide to work with a doula, what would happen before the birth? I know in our experience, you talked about how the mom can be more comfortable. You talked about different exercises. Um, you demonstrated a couple of things that the dad can do to help out the mom. Could you explain just a few of these things and ways that you kind of communicate this to the expecting parents? Sure. Um, in our prenatals, as you remember, we went over some exercises that you talked about. Yeah. Helping mom, if you have enough time given, yes. <laughs> is to um, get these exercises done, whether it's the birth ball, which is probably my favorite. Yes. Um, um, birth ball walking exercises that we can do to help um, prepare mom for her birthing experience. Okay. That's definitely some of the things that we went over when we were learning and they helped. I think that they helped tremendously. So I think it's definitely um, something that as expecting parents, if you're looking for what can I do before the baby comes? How can I make this process a little bit easier? How can I make myself more ready for what to expect. The education alone is something amazing that you can receive from working with a doula. Plus you get the support, plus you get the help. And uh, I think one of the statements that you made is kind of being there, but um, not in your face type role. Not there as a, this is what you need to do, this is the direction that you need to take, but more so as a Okay, you remember you talked about, is that something that you want to do right now? And that's very, very helpful, especially when you realize that there's so much going on. There's so many emotions happening. There's a lot to remember. Even if you come in with a binder and a checklist, there's still things that are going yes. to slip your mind. And it's wonderful to work with the doula, and it was a great experience for us. Um, how can people find you if they want to work with you? Well, um, you can find me on a few different websites. One is capitalcitydoulas.com. It's a group of us doulas here in the Sacramento area. Oh. Um, but I have a website, my3doulas.com. Okay. Um, and it's a smaller group of us doulas. Um, and it includes some postpartum doulas, um, birth doulas, hypnobirthing. Um, great little site there. Perfect. Great. Well, thank you very much. This has been very well, informative. Well, it's been great. Thank great to you. catch up. Perfect. So there you go, some amazing insight from an incredible doula. If you're interested in hiring a doula, visit our website where we have more information and links to Amy's site. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like it, please share it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Dads in the House.